I am going to do my daily roll, just because. Let's see what we get. Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another episode of Dungeons and Dragons Online Let's Play, the Rogue Edition. Uh, today I'm going to be taking level 27. Uh, as you can see, my XP is at 6.1 million. I need 6.2, so very, very close to uh, actually getting level 28, which is cool in the game. Uh, let's see, I want to advance to the next epic level, please. And I want to take Blinding Speed. I talked about this before. Uh, this is mostly uh, just for the attack speed. Um, I just want to see how it does. The other things, the other things I could take, uh, like uh, epic damage reduction, is not bad with the physical resistance. But um, I just I really want to try this blinding speed out, so I'm going to take that, uh, see how it goes. So what do we get? Uh, 13 hit points, a bad from 18 to 19, uh, epic power, epic skills, and then the one we chose. Uh, so we finish, and we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, first off, let's take a look at this. Favor. I've been doing some favor farming. Uh, I want to get that at 2500 so I can unlock favored soul. Um, I'm at 2143 right now. As you can see down in the description, I have a lot of quests that I have run on normal and hard and elite uh, in heroics, just point, trying to play catch up, basically. Um, I don't think I can hack e epic elite unless I just jump into a pug or something like that. And eh, uh, there's a lot of low level quests since I have a lot of packs, a lot of low level quests that I can still go back to. Excuse me, had to cough. Um, so all those low-level quests, I'm going to go back and, and try to hit those things on normal, hard, and elite. Uh, if I can get an opener for elite, just the way I can just run through them first time, that would be absolutely fantastic. So there's where we stand with that. Uh, I'll take a look at gear real quick. Pretty much all the things that I have had already. Uh, some plus 10 intelligence uh, goggles, wisdom item, my heavy fort, with uh, still has an empty yellow slot, so I could put in like death block or something if I could loot uh, something like that. Uh, I have the level 20 uh, Trader Hunter Spyglass from Crystal Cove that I farmed up like last year on another character on the Ranger. Um, I did get this um, this uh, Ghost Ghost Awakening Cloak. Somebody had sold it to a vendor out in Evening Star, and I picked it up for super cheap, so why not? Uh, I still have this Fear Immunity and Constitution Belt, mostly for the Fear Immunity. So I guess what I could do technically is try to unslot that if I had the Jeweler's Toolkit and then slot that into the Nightforge Gorget for the yellow slot and then the belt slot I could put something else in. Uh, st a Strength and Hit Point Ring, my uh, Nether Grasps which give me a plus 8 Seeker and a plus 2 Profane Bonus to Strength, uh, plus the Open Lock is kind of nice. Uh, I have uh, Treads of Falling Shadow which are very very good, just the normal versions. Uh, other ring slot is uh, Charisma and Diplomacy, which actually I could get rid of this and have something else because this uh, Ghost Wicking Cloak has the plus 8 Charisma on it. Um, these are super nice. Disable, Search, both at 17, Blurry, Exceptional Seeker plus 4, and Resistance plus 6. Again, some of these things kind of cross over. I have Resistance plus 6 here. I also have a Resistance plus 6 there. They don't stack, so it's, it's a thing. And then I'm still wearing the Whisper Chain, which is uh, very, very good. Gives me some, uh, some extra hit points and whatnot. Uh, now, one thing you'll see down in the description. I turned in some ingots. I actually bought some ingots on the Shard Exchange, because there were none on the regular uh, auction house. And I got this. Uh, this is unupgraded, just regular, normal, whatever. Um, but I found out that it's very, very good. The DPS is a lot better than what I had had before. Uh, I also looted a Ruby of Superior Shock. You'll see in the orange slot there. I stuck that in there, and that is... Uh, it, my DPS has gone up quite a bit, not because of the Superior Shock thing, but just overall because of this. But every little bit helps, so that's why I stuck that in there. Um, my bags are full of crap and junk and things. Uh, I've been looting all kinds of stuff. Uh, lots of these... Um, um, augments, which I really can't use. I also ran uh, a heroic normal chronoscope, just because. I wanted some favor. Uh, got the Hellfire crossbow, so that's kind of neat. I also got the uh, charged gauntlets, so that's cool too. Uh, I also looted this, not necessarily for me, but um, this came from one of the, it was like Subversion or something like that, one of those quests. Uh, minimum level 30, which I thought was funny. Sovereign Vorpal, plus 12. Uh, the Radiance and Spellcasting implement don't really 
matter that much, but I thought, well, maybe I'll give that to Generic B because he's almost level 32, or 30 as well, not level 32, but he, he's almost level 30, so why not? Um, I am going to do my daily roll, just because. Let's see what we get. Yep, par for the course. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode. I am not going to have any gameplay this episode. Let's go ahead and take that. Um, 84k to level 28. Not bad. Look at that piddly little 100 up above my beautiful, beautiful face. That's awful. Uh, no gameplay because I have been busy with other stuff in life and things in general. So this is going to be a very quick, quick episode. Um, I had thought about not finishing this series and just saying, okay, this is as far as I can take it and that's it. But I, I do want to get to level 30. Why? Because I think if I put this character on the back burner and do something else... I won't come back to it. I won't get level 30. I will not get that favor that I want for uh, for a uh, favored soul. So I'm going to keep cracking at it again. It might not be an every week thing. It might just be every two weeks until I finish this series because life and work and stuff. So I'm trying my best to get these done as quickly as possible. But down in the description, you will see all the quests that I have run. And you'll notice that they're pretty much the same things over and over again. That's because they're quick XP, they're easy to run, and I mean that's that makes it makes soloing a lot easier. I don't really have a chance to group that often. I've not run any raids, uh, I mean real raids, on this character. But to get the better gear, that's what you do have to do. So at the end of it, I'll probably be wearing the same outfit and wearing the, wearing the same goggles and all that. So your your mileage may vary, but if you're in a guild that runs a lot of raids, make the time for it and hit it because you will get better loot, you'll get more money, more plat, uh, maybe even loot some really cool stuff that you can pass on to another character. So that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William reminding you to do the dirty work. Yeah.